Welcome to June's Eco Challenge. Today's problem is single number two. Given an array of integers, every element appears three times except for one. Find that single one. Your algorithm should run in linear time and can you implement it without using extra memory? Let's forget about the extra memory part for now. When I first saw this problem, I thought it was a mistake because it was so easy compared to the ones we've been seeing. Um, but it's this extra memory part that makes it a lot more difficult. But forget that for a second. Let's just solve it first. Um, normally, just use a hash map, right? And here we can use our Python's counter object to make it easier. We'll create a count using the counter object and just input nums. And for each key value in count.items, if the value equals one, just return the key, which is going to be the number. And that should immediately solve our problem. So that does get accepted. But obviously, that's a little too easy. We want to solve this without using extra memory. And how would you do that? Well, unfortunately, there's no constraints really given to our list. Uh, there's no range given to us. It's not like going to be between some numbers. It can be anything. So using like pointers and stuff to traverse this list isn't going to work. Um, there is one solution that I saw, but it's a bit complicated. But here's the idea. We can use bitwise operators. And what we'll do is initialize two numbers first to zero. And basically, it's a little bit hard to explain, but we're going to run through these numbers and continually update them using the XOR operator. And the idea is, at a certain point, there will be one that doesn't meet the criteria of, um, or meets the criteria of not being in three, not being in two, and only appearing in once. And that's numbered, that's gonna continually stay there. Otherwise, if any of the other conditions get met, it appears twice, or if, or if it appears three times, then it gets masked back, back out. So uh, it's kind of hard to explain, but let's say we have two, and first thing we wanna check is say, all right, let's, do an XOR uh, operator and say, if this number appears once and put that X, and we'll do the same thing with one. We'll say, does this appear, um, let's see, XOR, I wonder if I'm making a mistake here. Two, XOR, oh, okay, I'm sorry. I believe it's and, and one, this and same thing here um, X and now we'll have this mask to say okay make sure that it's not going to be two uh, and and one and we can probably call something like not three instead of mask um, so once we calculate this let's say what we're going to do is re take out our one and two by saying okay make sure that it's not three and two or one and not three and two. And the idea is we should go through the entire list and if as long as there is one number that only appears once, that's gonna be the one here because that doesn't ever get masked, masked back out. So let's see if this works first. Oh, okay, so I made a mistake. Two runs. I believe actually the initial one was right then. So once. Okay, so that looks like it worked. So there we go. Um, I would go into this algorithm more in depth, but it's a little too complex. I'm going to put a link in the description if you want to see in, in detail. Honestly, how would you know this algorithm? It's one of those things that you either know or you don't. I don't see anyone realistically coming up with this in like a 45 minute interview having never seen it before. Um, so it's like one of those things that you might learn and you could have um, more success with it. Like if we knew that the number was going to appear four times, we can add something like this uh, as long as we put in another um, uh, three here, uh, so it'd be three, and then and two, and add like another two here. Um, it's it's like a really interesting algorithm, but it's hard to know like just naturally. So like, but it 
would allow us to solve problems where um, if we know an, n all the numbers appear a certain number of times except for some other number, uh, then we could use this algorithm to solve that. So take a look. Um, I, I'm just not familiar enough with it to explain in detail, and I think I'm just going to end it here. All right, thank you.